Praise the Lord. This is your host, Elder Gregory Newsom with the Faith in God Internet TV. God bless you on this wonderful Wednesday. Uh, we bring you greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, we definitely uh, praise God for another beautiful day that he has allowed us to be uh, with you in the land of the living. And so we're grateful unto the Lord for his blessings. And we, uh, our thoughts and prayers is that uh, God is blessing you right now as well. And so we have a great topic that we're going to be discussing today. Before we get into that, we'd like to definitely give honor to whom honors do. We want to give honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the head of our life, and to our honorable pastor, uh, Bishop Dr. Ellis Murchison, Sr. of the Pentecostal Power Church, and our First Lady, Lady Paulette Murchison, and to my own lovely wife, Missionary Janice Newson, and to all of the people of God, we bring you greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we want to say Merry Christmas to everybody. We want to do that ahead of time. Uh, we want to say uh, Merry Christmas to everybody. Merry Christmas uh, to all of you. Uh, and we hope uh, that you will have a blessed and prosperous new year. And so this is going to be our uh, final series for um, this particular year. And so we will be uh, with this topic until the end of the year. All right. So we'll be on this topic until December 31st. All right. And so we'll be talking about this quite a bit and uh, <clears throat> we'll go a little bit uh, into it today. But I want to say to the people of God, let us continue to pray for one another uh, as well as our sick that's among us. Uh, let us continue to pray for our leadership, uh, our presiding bishop, assisting presiding bishop. Uh, let us continue to pray for their wives and their families and their churches and ministries that God has uh, placed them over. A special prayer uh, for our senior bishop, Bishop Floyd Scott, and uh, Brother Ann Lee and Sister Doris and uh, my good friend, Bishop Mark Jones, uh, and First Lady Mother Jones there in Florida City. We thank and praise God for them. And uh, just want to say to all the people of God, I hope that you tune into this broadcast. Uh, this is going to be the final series for this year. And uh, we all can relate to this. <clears throat> we all can relate to this topic. And we're going to get into it. But we're going to offer a word of prayer. But the first thing we want to do is offer our prayers and condolences to all families that have had a loss in 2021. We know this has been a grueling, this has been a grueling year uh, in terms of tragedy and uh, sequence of events of turmoil. And, but nevertheless, the Lord has yet been good to us and he has brought us to this present place. And we're ever so thankful and grateful to the Lord. And so we will not complain. But I will say this, Marvin Sapp said it, and I will say it. I never would have made it without you, Lord. And so we want to make sure that uh, God gets the glory because we never would have made it through this year with the bouts of COVID and different things that have transpired. And I thank and praise God that he has kept me uh, this far. I have not had COVID. And I thank and praise God for it. I have not gotten COVID and I'm excited. I'm thankful to the Lord. And I've been uh, in a lot of situations and uh, we've even had people that had COVID that we didn't know they had COVID, but to make a long story short, God has kept us. And so uh, we dare not boast in ourselves. It was the Lord that shielded and protected us and he kept us. And I want to let you know, uh, yeah, I got vaccinated. And, uh, you know, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. But I'm saying God has kept us. It wasn't a vaccine. We're not going to give the doctors all the credit and give these medical professionals no glory. They had a hand in it. God uses medical professionals to do what they do. But if God do not keep the city, they that watch it, you know, they wake it in vain. And so I want to let you know. It was the Lord that kept us. And so don't want nobody to be misunderstood on that one. <clears throat> and so we're grateful to the Lord. Definitely want to continue to pray 
uh, for uh, all of our bishops and pastors, District Elder Turner, uh, First Lady Turner, uh, the Turner family. Let's continue to pray for District Ella Johnson, First Lady Johnson and their family and uh, in its entirety. And we say Merry Christmas to all of them. And to uh, my sister, Sister Thelma Turner, we want to say First Lady Turner, happy birthday to you. We want to say happy birthday. Today is Lady Turner's birthday. And so if you all have an opportunity, call her and wish her a happy birthday. I was going to head over and uh, give her a surprise today, but we uh, yet wanted to be on the broadcast as well. And uh, we plan to, uh, if the Lord's will be with them uh, before the year's out, if the Lord's will. And so we're thanking God yet for his blessing. And so we want to definitely uh, say to you today, before we get into this topic and get into prayer, please pray for our sister Flo, uh, Sister Howard, pray for her, pray for my Aunt Betty. Uh, I just want to say with this Omicron variant, uh, variant or whatever it is, it's spreading like wildfire. And so saints, um, protect yourselves. You know, I want to say to you, I'm going to look at your straight face in the camera and tell you, protect yourselves at all costs. All right. And that's just my advice to you. Uh, people do whatever they want, but I'm telling you to protect yourself. All right. And uh, do what you have to do. But as for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord and we're going to make sure we wear a mask when we go out in public. And we're going to make sure when people come over, we're going to have masks on. All right. <clears throat> now, you do what you want to do. But I'm saying, you know, do what we can and pray and ask the Lord and he will definitely uh, take care of the rest. But we're not going to tempt the Lord. That's what I'm saying. All right. And so we're going to, that's enough of that, but we want to make sure I let you know, we're not going to tempt the Lord. We're going to do what we've been advised to do by the CDC and those that have the rule over us. And then if we happen to get COVID, then it's just, our, it's God's will for us. And it's our, it's God's will for us that we check out of here. And so I'm okay with that. Hmm? I repented of my sins, been baptized in water in Jesus name. And I've been filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. And we want to talk about this topic. And we've been uh, working on practicing this particular topic that we're discussing at the remaining of this year. And we still got to do it. There's still more work that's got to be done. And we're nowhere near finished. Uh, this work is not finished uh, by a long shot. Because God is still working on us. So, saints, let us continue to pray for all of our mothers, pray for our deacons. Uh, let us pray for, uh, there were some saints that had a prayer on the, uh, prayer request on the prayer list. Let's continue to pray for the Doss family. Let us continue to pray for evangelist Joyce Lee, uh, and Deacon Tony, our good friend, Deacon Tony Lee and, uh, the entire Lee family, uh, special prayer for mother tiny mother cookie and uh, the Murchison family. And let us continue to pray for all of our young people. Uh, let us pray for all of our ministers and our evangelists, as well as missionaries. All right. Uh, please pray for those that are tearing on the altar for the gift of the Holy Ghost, that God will fill them. Uh, it's up to God and it's uh, God's will that they receive the Holy Ghost. And he says in Acts 2, and I want to, uh, I want to read it for you hearing, but we, we're not even in our topic, but I want to read this before we go into prayer. Acts chapter two, and just go there with me. Cause I want you to see, I want you to see what we're talking about in Acts chapter two. All right. It's a promise. And I want to let you know, don't let nobody tell you that it's not for you. And Acts two and 38, then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Why? For the remission of your sins, for the remission of sins, it says here, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And he says, for the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are far off, even as many, the Lord our God shall call. 
And with many other words, did he testify and exhort saying, save yourselves from this untoward generation. All right. And so we want to let you know it's a promise. It's a promise from God. He told him in Luke 24 to go down and tarry in the city of Jerusalem till you be endued with power from on high. And they did that. Hmm? And so I want to let you know it's a promise. So that's not what we want to talk about today. We're going to go into prayer. Please pray for all of those that are in leadership. Uh, let us pray for our medical professionals, those that are working in the medical profession, uh, especially those that are uh, in the ICUs and things of that nature. Let us pray for them because they are human and they need our prayers. All right. And so we want to do that. And let us pray for one another, saints, that the body of believers will be unified and that there be uh, that we'll be perfectly joined and that there be no division among us. All right. And that's uh, that's our prayer request today. All right. So let us go before his throne that we might pray and seek the Lord. All right. Eternal God, our Savior, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come before thee and before thy throne today to thank you and to give you homage and to pay, oh God, pay, oh God, praise unto your name to, oh God, exhibit a heart of felt of thanksgiving, oh God, a heart of appreciation, oh God, a heart of, oh God, to exhibit, oh God, adoration towards your name because you are great God and you have kept us down throughout this year. And God, we here to pay our vow to tell you thank you throughout the remaining of this year, God, because you have brought us to this present place, oh God. And we're so, oh God, grateful and thankful, oh God, for you allowing us, oh God, to be able to pay our vow and pay our praise unto your name, oh God, because you're worthy of all the glory. We thank you right now, oh God, for every blessing. We thank you for the precious gift of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And Father, we lift you up in this hour. And Father, we give your name the praise, God. We thank you for our leadership. We thank you for our presider, oh God, Bishop Bennett, Mother Bennett. We thank you, oh God, for our assistant presiding bishop, oh God, Bishop Webb, Mother Webb. We thank you, oh God, for all of our leadership, oh God, our pastor, Bishop Murchison, Lady Paulette. We thank you, Lord, for all your many blessings. We thank you even for our immediate family and our unsaved loved ones that you have kept throughout this year. We thank you, Lord, for preserving life, preserving the saints and their families, and even those, God, that are not saved, oh God, in our families, you have kept them up until this present point. And we're yet so thankful for those that yet remain. And we're praying, God, that you would save and, oh God, that you would deliver them, oh God, and that they may have an opportunity to be saved and have eternal life. Father, we ask, oh God, you will bless us today that your word may go forth, oh God, that it may, oh God, touch, heal, and comfort your people. And that it may also encourage and stir our hearts to, oh God, seek, oh God, thee, oh Lord. Oh God, we pray, oh God, for, oh God, District Elder Turner, oh God, First Lady Turner, Sister Destiny, and the entire Turner family, as well as, oh God, District Elder Johnson and his entire family. We pray thy blessings right now that you will continue to touch them and strengthen them, as well as all of our bishops, pastors, and leaders. Oh, God, look on, oh, God, Bishop Bullock, look on Mother Bullock, touch right now. In the name of Jesus, Father, we pray for healing. Oh, God, we pray, God, that you restore today. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And God, we believe you right now for, oh, God, a testimony. Oh, God, of healing and deliverance. Oh, God, on your, oh, God, miraculous provision on their behalf. We thank you and we forever give you glory and give you praise now. Help us to decrease that your anointing may increase. Oh, God, break every chain, God, every stronghold that have your people yoked and bound up. Help them to be loosed and set free in the name of Jesus to the glory of God. We thank you and we forever give you praise. Touch Bishop Mark Jones, oh God, touch his body today. And Mother Jones and the saints there in Florida, strengthen them, Lord. Bless them now, as well as our senior bishop, Bishop Scott. Oh, God, do it for your glory's sake. And, Father, we thank you. We forever give you glory, and we give your name the praise. Bless all of our mothers, deacons, and all the saints, God, as we come together, as we touch and agree. Oh, God, grant our deliverance. And, Father, we be careful to give you all the glory and the praise. 
And we thank you for it now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So we thank God for the prayer uh, that's been prayed. And we just believe in God. We're crazy enough to believe God that God is going to do just what he said he would do. And I'm just believing he's going to do it any day now. All right. He's going to do it any day now. So uh, be on watch for your blessing. So let's let's take a look here. Let us journey through the word of the Lord. Our first scripture is going to be. Uh, we're going to go there. Uh, we're going to navigate to Psalms chapter 26. All right. Journey with me uh, to Psalms chapter 26. All right. And so we're going to put it on the screen for you. We're going to go to Psalms. Uh, we'll go to Psalms 26. All right. So that's where we want to go. Uh, starting at verse number one. All right. So stay with me. I'm going to get it for you. And we're going to put it on the screen as well. If you don't have your Bible with you, we, we're going to aid you by putting it on the screen as well. All right. So we're going to go to Psalms 26. We need to go there and get this thought. Uh, that's in the scripture. All right. We're in Psalms 26. We're going to go uh, to that passage. Uh, Psalms 26 and one. And he reads, judge me, O Lord, for I have walked in mine integrity. I have trusted also in the Lord. Therefore, I shall not slide. All right. Now we can see here. Uh, uh, David writes this particular uh, Psalms during the time that Absalom was you know, rebelling during Absalom rebellion. He wrote it and he was really declaring uh, his loyalty to God, his dedication, his commitment and his stand hmm, in the midst of opposition. And if there ever been a time that our leaders and our pastors are under attack and there's a lot of opposition, you got members and you got, oh Lord, let me get out of here. You got members and you got saints and you got people opposing their leadership. And we're in a troubled time. I'm telling you right now, we in a perilous time right now. We in a, we're in a very peculiar time. We're in the last days. Hmm? And I want to let you know that time is winding up. And David, he was not claiming that he was perfect. Neither was he claiming that he was sinless. Hmm? I want to let you know. And, and David was letting you know, just like, oh, Lord, Hebrews let us know. For we have not a high priest, which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmity, but at all points tempted like we are, huh? It's yet without sin. That's what it says here in Hebrews. But I want to let you know, David was not claiming to be sinless. Hmm? But he wanted to have a continual, consistent relationship and fellowship with the Lord Jesus Christ. He wanted to keep his relationship with God. Hmm? And he cleared his sin record by asking God for forgiveness. Hmm? And if we're going to clear our sin record, we got to examine this year. We got to take a look this year. And let me give, give you the topic that we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about it till the end of the year. Taking spiritual inventory. Hmm? Taking spiritual inventory. And I know. This has been a long year. It's been a dread for a year, but we still need to take inventory. And the first thing I want to start out with letting you know, a lot of our companies and places that sell product and that use a uh, product have a certain amount of inventory hmm? and they have to examine. They have to do quality control. They have to check that inventory. They have to validate that inventory they have to check and make sure that the product that they have has not expired and that it's still good to be used. Mm -hmm. And I want to say to you on the spiritual note, we must take spiritual inventory. Mm -hmm. And we, I'm, I'm saying we got to go down memory lane before this year close out. Cause we don't know if we're going to make it to the end of the year. I'm just going to be honest with you. And so, 
we need to take inventory. And we got to make sure that we don't hold nobody no repentance. We got to make sure we ain't holding no grudge. We got to make sure we not going through the same thing. Oh, let me go through. You know, let me go through this. We got to make sure we not going through the same gyration. Did I really forgive them? I know. I know. I know. You all probably said a Newson, Newson, Newson hitting pretty hard today. But look, I want you to look at this. And I want you to examine some things because, you know, first thing we ask, what is spiritual inventory? Hmm? That means we got to take not only a mental uh, look, but also physical factors hmm? uh, can take inventory. We got to find out, you know, uh, oh, Lord, what we've been yoked up with this year. Hmm? Has it caused us? Oh, Lord to decline spiritually and morally. Hmm? We got to look at all these things. What risk have we taken this year? Hmm? Uh, oh, Lord. After we done repented of the thing, did we, did, oh, Lord, do we still have that addiction or that compulsive behavior that we keep repeating? Oh, let me get out of here. I got to go. Hmm? Or are you still having some, oh, Lord, are you still having some spiritual problems that you need to overcome? These are all the things that we must do to look at the inventory and find out what shape we in. Praise God. Hmm? I'm talking about brother Newsom. Hmm? And I have to let you know, hmm? we had, we, we got work to do. Hmm? And there's things that we still, Oh Lord, tug with. I got to let you know. There's some stuff we still tug with and it don't necessarily have to be sin. But if we don't look at these things, we won't grow. Hmm? We won't excel in God. We won't go to our full potential. Hmm? We'll keep on being slowful. <laughs> I got to go. Let me get out of here. We'll keep on dragging our feet on the things of God. I got to go. I got to get out of here. But I'm just giving you a little bit today because I don't think you, you know, I don't have no butter and I don't have no sugar today. Hmm? but it's seasoned with salt. I want to let you know it's seasoned with salt and it should bring grace to your hearing because we got to look at us. Hmm? I can't look at you, what you didn't done and what you didn't do all this year in 2021. Hmm? It ain't gonna do me no good. I got to look at what brother Newsom, what have you done this year? Were you faithful? Oh Lord. Were you faithful? Oh Lord. Let me get out of here. I got to go. Were you faithful to those that you were supposed to be subject to? Or did you just skate down the road and think God forgot about, oh, Lord, you not being subject and obedient to them that have the rule over you? These are the kind of things that we think we just going to gloss over. But God is looking at us, and he's taking record. He's taking inventory. I got to go. <laughs> I want to let you know, God is, God is looking at our labor love. And I won't let you know taking spiritual inventory is just a list. In our case, it can be a list of people or events that have contributed to our issue. Hmm? Let's look at the inventory list for a minute. Are you still blaming people for the hurt that you caused? I got to go. Are you still, uh, are you part of the problem or are you part of the solution? Hmm? I won't let you know if the pastor still have, Oh, I got to go. Let me get out of here. I got to go. Y'all. I see. I'm getting wound up with this. If the pastor still having headaches hmm, and you still getting the pastor blood pressure, up, I, got, I got to get out of here. You got the inventory. Am I the one causing the pastor to have high blood pressure? Cause a lot of us will say, Oh, it must be something the pastor ate. No, because if I'm always in the office, oh, I got to go. <laughs> Let me get out of here. I know we got to look at this stuff, but we're going to get through here. We got a lot, long way to go. We got till the end of the year. But look at this. David says here in Psalms 26, he said, judge me, O Lord. This is the first thing he said. And he says, for I have walked in mine integrity and I have trusted also in the Lord. Therefore, I shall not slide. He was not going to leave God concepts and neither can we as believers. We cannot leave God's holiness. Now 
Hmm? We cannot allow people, things, circumstance, or situation cause us to slide back from God now. Hmm? Stay with the Lord. Just hang on in there, people of God. Keep fighting the good fight of faith. Be encouraged, saints. I just want to let you know. We got a lot before us. Hmm? David, he pleaded to God and he wanted to clear his name of them false charges. Hmm? We too, we cannot go down and chase down stuff. Hmm? We can ask God to examine us and we need to trust him. Hmm? We need to ask God to examine us and we got to trust him. Oh Lord, for those that mishandle us. I know, I know, I know we want to get our own. We want to, we want to get back. We want to play the get back game. But the Bible says, vengeance is mine, said the Lord. I will repay. And so we got to leave it in the hands of God. We got to trust God. Hmm? And we got to forgive. Hmm? That, oh Lord, that God will cleanse us. Hmm? Because God has a record of mercy hmm? that he's granted to us. And so we serve a merciful God. We got to trust God for mercy. Hmm? If we sin, we mess up. We need to trust God for mercy. Because God got a record of having mercy. Hmm? The only thing we have to do is repent of that thing. Come godly sorrow and say, Lord, forgive me. I've sinned. Hmm? Lord, I've transgressed your law. Lord, I haven't done the things you have told me to do this year. Lord, I, I could have done, oh, Lord, I could have done much better, Lord. But I had too much, I had too much pride, Lord. Help me, help me deal with my pride. Hmm? These are all the things that need fixing in us. And you know what? I have to examine me. Hmm? Lord, has, did my attitude slip away with me this year? Hmm? Lord, when the Holy Ghost was trying to govern me, was trying to pull the throttle back, and I, I, I broke the spring and just let it, you know, let it went wide open. Hmm? You know, sometimes God is trying to govern us. The Holy Ghost is trying to govern us and say, hold your peace, be quiet, don't, don't, don't say nothing now. And we all my handle this. You know how we do. I'm just giving you the real deal. Sometimes we get in ourselves and we cause a mess of things. We run amok with things hmm? because we won't let the Lord govern us. Let the Holy Ghost govern us. Hmm? And in some cases, some of us, we just in backslid and the Holy Ghost ain't there. I just want to let you know. And we need to re, uh, we need to reconnect. We need to, oh Lord. Oh, Lord, we need to be restored, Lord. Restore me, Lord. That's what David was. David was at a point, Lord, restore me, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. And this is what we need. We need the Lord to restore us. Hmm? I got to go on. I, I ain't going to stay right there. We got the next scripture. Let's go to our next scripture. But he says, uh, I want you to see the scripture so you can uh, look at it with me. But he says here, he says, Judge me, O oh Lord, for I have walked in mine integrity. And he said, I have trusted also in the Lord. Therefore, I shall not slide. Hmm? Examine me, O oh Lord, he says. Look at this. David goes to verse 2 and he says, Examine me, O oh Lord, and prove me. Try my reins and my heart. Hmm? You know your heart dirty as every time that person show up, something rise up and you ain't right. You know your heart is dirty. And you need, we need, I need to ask the Lord, Lord, cleanse my heart. Hmm? Lord, cleanse Brother Newsom heart. Lord, I want my heart to be clean when, oh, Lord, when I'm dealing with my brothers and sisters in the Lord, when I'm dealing with my neighbor, when I'm dealing with anybody that can be problematic. Oh, glory to God. Hmm? We can get along with our friends, but can you get along with your enemy? Hmm? And we need a cleansing from the Lord. Glory. 
Thank you, Lord. And we need to have such a clean heart where we'll pray for folks. Oh, that we know that don't like us. I know. I know. I know. When we when, when we know people, uh, we know people don't care for us. And you can tell some people, I, I, I got to go. You can tell some people, it just bothered them. It troubled them. When you begin to talk, it troubles them. Now, why me talking troubling you? Hmm? I got to go. If me talking troubling you, there's something wrong with your spirit. I got to go. I got to get out of here. But I want to let you know, we need a cleanser. Hmm? And we need to take spiritual inventory and we need to check and make sure ain't no hate on the shelf. Hmm? Ain't no malice, oh Lord, in the cupboard. Hmm? Make sure ain't no envy and strife and no jealousy. Hmm? No unforgiveness is there. Huh? And let me let me share this with you. Don't go nowhere. Stay with me. Stay with me. Don't go nowhere. Look at this. This is another thing we need to do. We need to take spiritual inventory and say, uh, who have I been all this time? Have I been truthful with myself? Or have I been just going to church? Hmm? Have I just been a church goer, faithful in church, but my heart really ain't with God? Hmm? How have I used my gift to serve and help the ministry hmm? and promote the work of God? Hmm? Or have I spent more time trying to exalt myself and promote myself? These are all the things that we have to ask ourselves. Hmm? Lord, what have I been doing with the gift you didn't gave me? The talent you didn't put in me. Lord, did I did I multiply it or did I bury it? Hmm? What do I need to clear up and clean up, Lord, this year, for the year end out, before I make more resolutions and more vows and more promises that I ain't fulfilled on this year? Hmm? Lord, do I need to finish something that I started this year? These are all the things we need to do when we take inventory. What do I need to clear up, Lord, or let go in order to be a more peaceful saint or individual? What do I need to clear up? What do I need to give up? I'm going to get number four. We got more for you. Look at this. Uh, Lord, what gives uh, my life meaning? Because sometimes we don't even know what the meaning of life is for us. Hmm? What gives my life meaning? Because some people right now, the thing that you're going through, they didn't commit a suicide. Hmm? I was watching the news the other day and there was a person behind a school in Kenosha, I think somewhere in Wisconsin, they had committed suicide. You never know what people are being plagued with. You don't know what demons they're fighting at night hmm? or during the day. You don't, you don't know what demons they got. I want to let you know. And sometimes people feel like their life is not meaningful huh? because they're not accepted in certain aspects of life. I want to let you know. We here to pray for you. We here for you to get your breakthrough and your deliverance today. We here for you to take that inventory and, and oh, Lord, get that list fixed. Praise God. Hmm? And only God can come in and start helping you with the things that you don't have power to deal with. Praise God. I, I want to say this. Uh, what do you believe? Hmm? You know, sometimes we, we believe and we believe the wrong things. We've been trusting and believing in the wrong people throughout this year. And they have let us down. They have failed us. And the Bible clearly tell us to trust in the Lord. Hmm? You trusted in people. You trusted the pastor. You trusted the first lady. You trusted the deacon. You trusted somebody that you confided in. But did you trust the Lord? Glory. Thank you, Lord. I got to get out of here. I got to go. Did you trust the Lord? Did you put your confidence and trust in him? Hmm? Because I want to let you know, God is a keeper. He will uphold you. He will redeem you and he will get you out of all your troubles. I won't let you know. God is the only one that will deliver us. Hmm?
people help us till they get tired. Uh, people, uh, people are, are do some things for us until they, oh Lord, until they get to a point where they can't do it anymore. But we need to put our trust and confidence in the Lord. And he that keep it Israel, neither slumber nor sleep. I got to let you know, we serve a God that's able to take you through. And I want to encourage the saints. I want to encourage you to take this inventory. Don't let the year go out with the same problem. Hmm? Don't, don't go out this year with the same problem. And then you, you mad going into the new year mad. Hmm? We don't need to have no mad saints in 2022. We need to get all this stuff fixed now. Hmm? We got blood running warm in our vein. Our hearts is pumping good. We need to go ahead and clear the wrong now. We need to clear the line, clear the air, and say, I'm done with this. And when you're done with it, be through with it. Look at this. What is my biggest doubt? Hmm? When we take inventory, what are my biggest doubts and hindrance? Hmm? What's hindering me? Hmm? What doubts and questions I have hmm? concerning my spiritual life? Hmm? We need to go to our leaders and, and get these. Oh, Lord. We need to. Oh, Lord. We need to go to the Lord and then go to our leaders. Praise God. If we got doubt. Huh? Oh, Lord. And we got questions. Hmm? I know we need to stop making excuses. And we a lot of us is saying we make excuses. Oh, the pastor's too busy. First lady's too busy. Oh, I don't want to bother them. Bother them. That's what they call to do. They call to do this work. Bother. I'm saying in a, in a respectful manner. Hmm? Bother them because your soul is weighing in the balance. If you look at inventory and you see yourself constantly spiritually declining, you need to go to your, oh Lord, you need to go to your leaders and get some help. Hmm? And they're going to direct you to the Lord. And I advise you to go to the Lord, go to the rock and then share with your leaders so they can give you some spiritual counsel and advice. Huh? So you can start building up your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Part of our biggest problem is, have I been praying like I need to been this year? When we take spiritual inventory, Lord, have I been reading my Bible? Have I been praying? Hmm? Or have I been playing? These are all the things that we need to take inventory. Lord, am I grateful? Am I a grateful person for what you've already done and provided? We got to take inventory on these things. Lord, am I a thankful person or am I unthankful? Am I selfish, Lord? These are all the things we need to look at. Hmm? Uh, we got some more for you, but we got to go to the next scripture. But we need to take inventory, saints. We need to ask ourselves some questions. Hmm? Lord, what do I need to do? Hmm? Oh, Lord, to please you. Hmm? I know I've been trying to please people. Lord, I know I've been trying to make, you know, friends. I've been trying to, you know, be a better person. But you know what? Let God give you integrity. Let God build your character. Hmm? Let, let God plead your cause for you. This is These are all the things that we need to work on as believers today. Now, I'm going to go a little bit farther, and I know, uh, we got to get out of here. I got about five, six more minutes. So we're going to go to our next scripture and we're going to pick it back up if the Lord's will uh, after the holidays. We're going to pick it back up if the Lord's will on Monday. We want to pick this back up. And uh, uh, Friday will be in our uh, touch and agree prayer after the Lord's will. So we want to uh, mainly keep uh, this particular uh, subject going until the end of the year, to December 31st. OK, but we definitely want to make sure that we take the inventory, that we examine ourselves and that we search ourselves from within and say, Lord, uh, let me make sure just in case I'm, I'm I may have overlooked something. There have been times in our life that we've overlooked things hmm? like we'll look for our keys and our keys laying right on the table. Hmm? I won't let you know. Sometimes we overlook things. Sometimes we can spiritually overlook. 
our, our bad character, our bad attitude, our mistakes, our flaws. Sometimes we can just skip over it because we don't want to acknowledge it. Hmm? But David was at a point when Absalom was trying to take his life, was trying to take the kingship from him. He had to go down and take inventory. And so do we saints. Throughout this year, there's been a lot happening. There's been a lot going on dealing with the COVID, uh, the Delta, the Omicron, and we're losing loved ones with sickness, uh, with jobs being lost, uh, all kinds of things. We suffer loss spiritually. Hmm? But God is a restorer. God is able to restore our saints. So I want to encourage you, get the restoration you need. Get the fulfillment in God that you need by seeking the face of the Lord before this year close out. If you hadn't prayed very much this year, I admonish you and encourage you. Don't let the, you have, don't you, don't be defeated. You can pray until December 31st, get in your prayer closet. Start now, start today, getting on your prayer uh, horse, get on your prayer horse, you know, spiritual prayer horse and start praying. Now don't let the enemy defeat you. You say, Oh, well, I, you know, I haven't prayed like I should have all year long. So I'm going to wait till next year to start. Start now. Start today. You didn't forgive that person for what they done all year long. Do it today. Pick up that phone and call them. You know, tell them you're sorry. Tell them you love them and mean it. That's what we that's what we need to do. This is what makes us a better church. This is what makes us a better ministry. This is what makes us a better people to, oh, Lord, to be an ambassador for Christ. Hmm? Let your light so shine that men may see your good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. Let's go to our next scripture. I want to go to our next scripture. Um, go with me here. We're going to go to um, 1 Corinthians. Uh, we're going to go to uh, 1 Corinthians uh, 11 and about 24. We're going to talk about it for a minute here. And when he gave thanks, we're talking about Paul here. Um, when he gave thanks, or Paul talks about Jesus here, when he gave thanks, they break the bread. This is talking about communion here. So I don't want anybody to misunderstand me. Uh, even communion. We wait till communion come, and then we want to examine ourselves. But we need to be doing it now. We shouldn't wait till the pastor call a fast and uh, call communion service. Hmm? Because we got to make sure there's no spot in our garments. We got to make sure that we've gotten everything that we possibly can have knowledge of, we got to have it taken care of. And you can't do it without going down through spiritual inventory. You got to do spiritual inventory. The task is for all of us to go down memory lane. And when he had given thanks, he break it and said, take eat. He says here, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. This is what Jesus says. Verse number 25. And after the same manner, he took the cup. And when he had supped, he said, this is the cup. Uh, he said, this is the, this cup is the new Testament in my blood. Look at this. Now this do you as oft as you drink it and remembers of me to remember means to reflect back, to go back hmm? and remember what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to be carrying out God's holy ordinances and commandments. I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to be doing communion. I didn't do communion last year cause I had an alt against somebody. Hmm? I didn't do communion because I was upset and I was disgusted and I didn't feel worthy to take it. Are you in the same shape this year? Don't answer it. I just want to throw it out there because we need to take inventory because you didn't take communion last year. You should be ready this year if the Lord is willing. Hmm? Because preparation don't start when communion starts. Preparation starts now. Look at this. I want to encourage here. He said, for often that he said, for often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he come. Don't we want to show the Lord's death? So if you don't take communion, you're not doing everything that God commanded you to do. And when we take inventory, we got to make sure we do everything that the Lord say do praise God. And he says, wherefore, whosoever eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty. Huh? You're going to be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. This is what the book says. Verse number 28. 
We got to go to verse number 28. He says, but let a man examine himself. And so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that drink, for he that eat it and drink it unworthily, eat it and drink it damnation to himself. And he says, not discerning the Lord's body. Verse number 30. For this cause, many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. Hmm? He says, but when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord that we should not be condemned with the world. And so God is correcting us now. God is straightening us out now so we don't miss the rapture. I want to let you know. I'd rather, I'd rather deal with the Lord counsel and deal with the Lord's judgment than to deal with the ultimate judgment where there will be a penalty of eternal damnation. I'd rather deal with being corrected and uh, embarrassed now huh? and uh, straighten out now than the Mr. Rapture. All right. And so th these are the things that we need to do to take spiritual inventory. So I'm just, I'm just a messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. We're going to get the next scripture. Well, let's go to the next scripture here. But I want to let you know, uh, we, we need to be careful here. Uh, as people of God, let's go to Psalm 17. All right, go with me. I'm at Psalm 17 and verse number three. All right, Psalm 17 and three. Go there with me. And we're getting ready to get out of here. He says here, thou has proved mine heart. Thou has visited me in the night. Thou has tried me and shall find nothing. Hmm? When God searched you, did, did he find something you got hid? Or well, that you think you got hid rather because there's none hidden from the Lord to whom we have to do. Everything is open to the eyes of the Lord. All right. But look at this. David says here, thou hast proved mine heart and thou hast visited me in the night. Hmm? God even know what you thinking when you sleep. Look at this. Thou hast tried me and thou shall find and thou shall find nothing. Hmm? I am purpose that my mouth shall not transgress. Let's take a look. Let's go down memory lane for a minute. Did your mouth utter something that was reproachful? Hmm? We got to take inventory. Because if we didn't repent of those things that we said, we need to retract those things that we said. Hmm? If we didn't ask God for forgiveness and ask the person for forgiveness that we said those hurtful words to, we still got time to retract. We still got time to go back to the individual and say, hey, I'm sorry. I wronged you. I shouldn't have wronged you. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Hmm? Ask the Lord to forgive you. Hmm? I want to let you know. David was not proud of the things that he'd done in his past. You may not be proud of some things you've done this year. We've all fell into that. Hmm? But we got to understand how to keep our relationship with God. That's the most important thing. doesn't matter if you, I'm a little embarrassed because you know I uh, had a problem with you. Forgive me. I'd rather suffer the embarrassment of you knowing I had a problem with you and get that problem corrected and get it fixed than to close my eyes tonight. And when I open my eyes, I lift my eyes up in hell. I'd rather take the chance on being embarrassed by you hmm? than to suffer missing eternal life. This is how serious this is, saints. And so keep your relationship with God. Don't let nothing get in between you and your Savior. I got to let you know because it's time to examine yourself and take spiritual inventory. Take the spiritual inventory. Am I at the level of praise and, oh, Lord, adoration and worship with the Lord? Have I kept my dedication with the Lord or have I just let it go? Hmm? And has 
the TV, that one eyed demon has the TV, the computer or social media have taken the place of my spiritual relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Hmm? Am I, oh Lord, am I a stronger believer than I was on last year? Am I more faithful to God this year than I was ever before? These are all the things that we got to look at when we look at spiritual inventory. Lord, have I declined to give you praise? Hmm? Lord, when I went through that test, did I, oh Lord, did I charge you foolishly? These are all the things we got to take inventory on. I got to get out of here. I've said that too many times already, but we just wanted to put a thought on your heart today. We will be back visiting this topic for the remaining of this year. I'm your host, Elder Gregory Newsom with the Faith in God Internet TV. We love you. We want to say God bless you. We will not um, uh, be uh, broadcasting this topic until Monday. If the Lord's will, we will uh, definitely be in prayer, praying for all the saints, all of those that are sick among us. We love you, saints. We want to give you truth. We want to give you the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we definitely want you to take spiritual inventory. Hmm? Because we want you to be filled with all the goodness of God. And may God prosper you and bless you in the things that he have called uh, for you to progress in. And so we want to say God bless you in the name of the Lord. I uh, want to thank you for listening and tuning into this broadcast. If you like the broadcast, please uh, continue to subscribe, uh, hit like or what have you. Give your remark or response. And we will definitely get back with you uh, on your remarks and responses on the social media sites. I uh, just want to say to you, we love you. God bless you. And may God keep you until next time. I'm your host, Elder Gregory Newsom with the Faith in God Internet TV. Until next time, God bless you in Jesus name.